In this video, we are going to demonstrate the assessment of the 9th and 10th cranial nerves, namely the glossopharyngeal and vagus nerve. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi, and welcome back to PhysioTutors. The glossopharyngeal and vagus nerve are commonly assessed together. They primarily innervate the muscles of the tongue and pharynx, the thorax, abdominal viscera, and larynx. No diagnostic accuracy studies are available on these assessments, so the clinical value is unknown. The patient may report having difficulty swallowing, so asking the patient to take a sip on your command can be used as one assessment. You'd expect no delay or difficulty swallowing once you ask the patient to take the sip. Furthermore, ask the patient to say ah with the mouth wide open and check if the uvula elevates, inspect the palate for symmetry as well. Examine the patient's voice and cough. A hoarse voice or bovine cough can be indicative of vagus nerve impairment due to a lack of closing of the vocal cords creating a hollow sound. Lastly, the gag reflex can be assessed. Using a tongue depressor, touch the back of the tongue on both sides and check for a gag reflex. Alternatively, use a wisp of cotton and touch the soft palate. All right, you can check out other cranial nerve assessments by clicking on the thumbnail on the left. If you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment down below. Also, if you didn't know, we have our own assessment ebook, a mobile app, and online course that you can check out in the video description right below the like button. This was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I'll see you in another video. Bye.